Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about college hockey training. I'm gonna go over training splits, how I used to train playing college hockey, as well as I'm gonna take you through a workout that I used to do in Omaha at the Division One level too. So like I said, in this video, I'm gonna be explaining everything that I know and experience through training in college hockey. To kick things off, I drew up this pretty bad diagram about training splits. So a lot of you guys ask me, how many times should I be training a week? Really, it depends and there's not a bad answer for it, but this is what I've done right here. So playing college hockey, I either did a four day split or a three day split. The difference between the two, a four day split, you are lifting Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Three day split, you're lifting Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. These alternate between the legs, upper body, legs and upper body the three day full body full body full body so we typically did this three day split when we were skating a lot more so there's less workout volume during the week because you're on the ice like maybe five times a week during this so we would have done this more in september october right before the season starts and then when we actually start in the season we go hard lift monday and then wednesday was usually a bit lighter because friday and the weekend is when we play so the four day mostly in the summer when we weren't skating a whole lot and then i didn't write it down wednesday we didn't lift but usually wednesday was a conditioning day where we go outside we'd run we'd still get better we'd still work out but it's not like you're going in the gym to actually lift weights so that wraps things up for training splits if you got any more questions on this just feel free to dm me on instagram so i'm gonna be taking you guys through a workout today as i go through this workout i'll be talking a lot about college hockey training my experiences certain things that you guys always ask me about it. The workout we're doing today is a work capacity workout. I actually did this when I played college hockey. It's pretty tough, honestly. I remember doing it, gets the heart rate up pretty good. So yeah, you're in for a good one. This is good to do, kind of getting ready to ramp up for the season, making sure your full body's conditioned, ready to go. What I'm doing right now is called RPR. It stands for Reflexive Performance Reset. And we did this before every single workout. Most games too, the trainer would do it for us. A basic explanation of it would be to think of your body as a morph suit and your fascia being the morph suit. So everything's kind of connected. You pull a morph suit and one area gets super, super tight. It's gonna kind of have an effect on all the other areas. So it releases common areas of tightness on your body so that when you work out or go play a game, you're not gonna have certain areas that are compensating for others. All right, so before I get started on this workout, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about hard workouts and easy workouts, like are college hockey workouts very hard? Are they easy? How in shape do you have to be? How strong do you have to be? I would say that there's never a time that I was going into the gym worried about if I was gonna puke or if I wasn't gonna make it through the workout. I think the trainers do a pretty good job in knowing how hard to push their guys, you know, so that they're just getting better, but they're not going to the point of pure exhaustion every single day, because the skates are tough too. There's a lot of things to balance out. In terms of how strong most players were and how strong you had to be, there's definitely no requirement. There was crazy amount of difference between the weakest guy and the strongest guy. It varied way more than I thought it would. There was guys that I played with that weren't the best in the gym, but they're really good on ice. And then there's guys that were great at both and great in the gym, so. I forgot to mention this earlier, but for reference, my main lifts in when I played college hockey, my bench press was anywhere from 225. I could go three reps to six reps. Back squat was the 275, 315 area for sets of five. I was always pretty good on chin-ups, could do like sets of 15 to 20. So that was my numbers. And I'd say I was above average of the team with those. So puts it into perspective, I guess, how strong most of the guys are on the team. So don't worry about it too much. As long as you're working out, you're training, as you're getting older, up into the point of going to college, once you get there, there's no set standard, you're gonna be fine. So it's time to get started on the first lift of the workout. We got a reverse lunge. It's gonna be three reps a side. You're gonna rest 20 seconds, and then you're gonna repeat it right again. So very short rest period, and it's a total of 10 sets. So what I remember was pretty tough.
All right, that's 10 sets. Heart rate's up. Felt good. Now we're moving on. We got the same thing, but incline dumbbell bench. All right, before we get started, I'm gonna to talk to you about what time of day I trained in college, and it changed quite a bit. In the summertime, we'd have 7 a.m. workouts, and then the workouts kind of revolved more around your class time, so you practice at 12, you'd either work out before 12, or you practice at 12 and then work out after 12, just depended on when you had school. All right, so same thing, 10 sets of three, 20 second rest. That's it for the incline bench. Really felt the work capacity being pushed with that one. All right, so there's one block left and I got a couple more things that I wanna to mention to you before this video ends. So before I get started on this next block, I wanted to talk to you guys about in-season training. So what I believe to be best is in season, your training should reflect the things that you are not getting on the ice. So what I mean by that is when you're skating, you're practicing every day, you're playing games on the weekend, on the ice, you're not getting a lot of that strength component of the heavier weight. So when you take that time to work out during the year, you should be focusing on maintaining some of those strength qualities and that explosiveness that you built up all the way through the summer. So when I was in college hockey, that's pretty much what we did. Our lifts were once, maybe twice a week at most, Monday, Tuesday, if we played on a Friday, and they were heavy. We went in the gym, we grabbed some heavy weight, we moved it, not too much because we're skating so much, but just enough where we could maintain that strength throughout the year. So that's typically what we did and that's the way I think it should be done too. We would do a team workout on Wednesday as well, even if we played on Friday, but it would be super light. It was like a circuit style with bands and stuff, body weight movements, it wouldn't involve any heavy weight. And uh, it was a good workout too. So maybe that's something I'll show you guys yet. But for the most part, one heavy lift a week, maintain that strength throughout the year and you'll be good to go. So let's get started on the last set. Eight reps, Swiss ball leg curl. Guys, that's it for the lift. Gonna finish off doing some cardio on the bike. And speaking of cardio, we actually didn't do a whole lot of cardio um, in the gym and stuff with the workouts while I played at Omaha. The cardio that we got was pretty much all from on ice work. So like just the high intensity practices. We'd bag skate a little bit, but not a whole lot. And it was mostly just from coming to practice with a fast pace, always skating in drills. And I think that worked out pretty well. So it wasn't your typical, you go in the gym, you do your workout and then you just get bagged on the bike or like ran for a few miles, you know. Only time we really did cardio was midsummer. We were on the four day split on that Wednesday. That's when we'd head out to the track. We do some sprinting, some maybe longer distance running, but for the most part, that's all it was. And uh, you won't see me complaining about that. So I'm all done the workout, just gonna wrap up things on the bike. One thing I wanted to mention too before this video ends is that these workouts that I'm showing you aren't necessarily meant for everybody. You gotta take in mind that these are workouts that college athletes are doing and they are beneficial for us, but stance of a younger athlete and a more untrained athlete, some of the exercises that I'm doing, you could probably tone it back a bit or there's other things that could probably benefit you more than even doing exactly what this workout just was. So depending on where your point in training is, take that into consideration for just going straight into this workout and doing the whole thing exactly like I did. With that being said, thanks guys for tuning into this workout, checking out this video. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe to my channel. Almost at 10K, really wanna get there. If you got any questions about this workout, about college hockey training, just hockey training in general, my DMs are always open on Instagram. Love to answer your questions, connect with you, and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Peace. Thank you.